Abby, and I'm from Pennsylvania. At a pretty young age, I always knew that I would be in ministry. I always had been drawn to missions. One of the biggest turning points in my life was when I was 13. I was at a summer camp. The pastor was really just, he was preaching about being called into ministry. And he was saying, some of you will be called into ministry tonight. And I said, God, is that me? Are you calling me into ministry? And I really felt like he was, he was really leading me in that direction. I was definitely scared because it's not something you like to do. And I, nobody's comfortable stepping out of their comfort zone. Having been homeschooled and not gone to public school, even with my personality being outgoing and stuff like that, stepping outside of my comfort zone was definitely something that was scary for me and I had to have a lot of faith and trust in God that he was going to take care of me. How did you know where to go and where did you go? Well, I went to Malawi and the only reason I knew to go there was because I was praying that God would give me like a very clear, specific country that he wanted me to focus my prayers on and and Malawi was what I was led to pray for. I definitely had to trust God that he was going to provide the funds for me to go to Malawi. Going on a mission trip is never cheap so I had to raise funds but it was really cool to see that God really did want me on this trip because my funds were raised in about four and a half months. I had been fully funded and I didn't have to worry about funds. But one of the biggest things for me going into it was leaving my family because of things that were going on in my family. And so leaving my family, um, it was a big step for me. What kept you in track? Definitely doing devotions every day. By reading his word every morning, I was more positive in situations, whether it be that uh, it was hot or we were hungry. It kept, me, it kept reminding me uh, why I was there and, and why God had called me there. And that was to do a good work there and, and for God to do a good work in me. Was there any point of time where you regretted something? Um, maybe a little, but it didn't last very long. I missed my teammates a lot. I missed the people I was around, but I was, I didn't regret going. I didn't regret leaving Pennsylvania to go to Malawi. I didn't regret going because of the work that God had done in my life. I felt like I was going there to do something, but more was done in me than I actually did. I think I gained more than I could have ever given. What do you have to say for those who seek God's plan in their lives? Definitely keep seeking Him, keep praying to Him, keep asking Him um, that His will would be done in you. I think one of the biggest things for me was just having faith. And I don't think it's necessarily just saying to the mountain jump, but it's also going to the Lord and saying, Lord, I know you can make this mountain jump. And, and having that faith in being bold in your prayer. Tell the Lord that you're you're willing to be his hands and feet and that that you want to serve him. I would recommend everybody go on a missions trip. As long as your heart is in the right spot. If you feel like you want to go on a missions trip, definitely pray about it. Definitely ask God uh, where he would have you go, if he would have you go. And if you feel like he is calling you, go ahead and talk to a pastor about it. Talk to your parents.